Within New Zealand, there are more than a dozen active volcanoes. These volcanoes occur on the North Island of the country and as a chain of islands and submarine vents in the Pacific Ocean to the north. Of these volcanoes, the famous White Island volcano ranks second in terms of the number of eruptions it has produced since 1950 with 24 distinct events. White Island is a small 2,500 meter long and 1,600 meter wide volcanic island. It received its name due to the frequency and abundance of white steam originating from its active fumaroles. Oftentimes, especially if there is unusually calm winds, this can lead to a sustained plume above the volcano which makes it look like it is erupting when it is not, much like what happened in the last week. For several months, the White Island volcano has been at an alert level of 1 on the 0 to 5 scale. Then, due to a change in sensor readings, its alert level was raised from 1 to 2 on September 7th of 2022. So, does this mean that a volcanic eruption is about to occur? What is the context of this change? This video will answer these two questions and discuss the overall volcanic complex. The White Island Volcano is located just offshore of the North Island of New Zealand where it is 52 kilometers north-northeast of the city of Whakatane. It represents the northernmost volcano in the Tapo Volcanic Zone which encompasses much of the North Island. The reason why this zone exists relates to two factors. To the east of New Zealand's North Island, the Pacific Plate is being subducted underneath the Indo-Australian Plate. The melted material from this collision then migrates upwards until it erupts onto the surface forming a chain of volcanoes. However, the subduction also caused upwelling of material in the mantle causing the overlying plate to spread apart to the east and west. The White Island volcano has been intermittently erupting for approximately 150,000 years being largely constructed out of a combination of andesite and dacite. Its recent eruptions have largely consisted of what are known as phreatic eruptions, such as its deadly 2019 eruption. Phreatic eruptions occur when underlying magma heats adjacent groundwater. The groundwater flashes to steam, and since the same mass of steam takes up more volume than the water it once was, it causes an immense amount of pressure to build. Eventually, this pressure is released upwards, creating a volcanic explosion that does not release any magma. However, at this volcano on occasion, these explosions also contain class of magma, meaning they are phreatomagmatic. Because this volcano's eruptions are dominated by phreatic events, it means they are absurdly difficult to predict, as unlike magmatic eruptions, there isn't always a telltale sign that one is about to occur. To perform this task of monitoring the volcano, a series of sensors which give real-time data have been placed around the volcano. However, all of the equipment has a limited lifespan, especially with the acidic environment that is the White Island Volcano. Ever since 2019, there has not been a long enough period of time to repair the equipment on the island as the low threat of another phreatic eruption always persisted. Since then, the equipment has decayed and as a result, on August 5th, the single remaining seismoacoustic station on the volcano stopped working. This means that scientists no longer have sufficient data to distinguish between activity which would be best suited via an alert level of 1 or an alert level of 2. As a result, White Island's alert level was raised to 2 not because the current volcanic activity best suits that designation, but rather because it could and we would not know, so it was raised as a precaution. In other words, while a new volcanic eruption could theoretically occur at this volcano anytime soon, the chance of this occurring is most likely no higher or lower than it was two months ago when sensors were still working. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Pax Kavime for supporting this channel.